Sport and Horses is in Mullingar Equestrian Centre for Pony Club's show jumping classic final. On crutches due to a stable accident, we asked a retiring chairman of show jumping, Rosemary Rice, about some of the people who have been through the system. Yes, well, we have obviously the, the biggest name that you can think of would be um, uh, Eddie Macken. He would have been a member of the Longford Pony Club. Jerry Flynn, Captain Jerry Flynn, Captain David O'Brien. You have Jessica Curtin would have been a member of the Pony Club in the north of Ireland. Um, numerous, numerous uh, international show jumpers have all started their careers with the uh, Irish Pony Club and would in turn um, give back by doing training and stuff with our members on a bursary basis when, when we ask them to. Yeah, um, at the grassroots, but the, the, um, just the day-to-day -day management, pony st uh, stable management and that, uh, that must be a big part of it too. Well, that's a huge, that's one of the biggest areas in Pony Club. I mean, from once they start they arrive, at, especially at their first camp and whatever, stable management, how to mind their ponies, groom them, clean them, feed them, um, care of the feet, care of the pony in the field. So many people today think if you just put a pony in a field, that's it. But we treat, teach the children that they have to watch out for the weeds and they have to have, make sure there's enough grass, water. Um, very important and it's, it's the backbone of them being able to keep their animals in competition, but managing them and how to, to mind them. Thank you very much indeed and enjoy the retirement. I know it's only from Pony Club. Thank you very much, Wilson. Course designer for today, that's Irish Riding Club's chairman, Tony Ennis. And so we come to the metre final. We're in the timed round and we're watching the eventual winner, is Alyssa O'Neill from Newcastle Lions Pony Club. really turning the sixpence and again not lacking from the saddle ah, well done Alyssa that's good enough to be our winner a view of some of the prizes that are on offer here today and the all important rug Okay, I have Alyssa O'Neill with me just after winning the metre final here. Uh, Alyssa, maybe you might tell us, what was all that about? Uh, well, the metre final, uh, we went to qualifiers beforehand and you had to go to two to qualify for the final and then you had to go clear and jump off to win it. And you won it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> tell us, um, you've been, how long have you been in Pony Club? Uh, since I was about five years old now. And um, what age is Can you tell us a little bit about the pony? Uh, well, this is Zena. She's 20 years old, which is quite old. Uh, she's been in my family with my other two sisters uh, since they were about 15 and they're in their uh, early 20s now. So she's a little family pet to us. <laughs> so tell me, what do you think special about Pony Club? Uh, pony Club, it, it's really good to getting, getting to know people and it really improves your riding, going to pony camp especially, because you have your instructors and they help you every single day. What do you hope, do you like to keep um, being involved in horses or ponies uh, as you grow older? Definitely, I'd love to keep um, my ponies going and I've got horses at home as well and they're uh, starting out, so uh, I hope to be doing more with them in the future. Tell us about the joys and tribulations of being a pony clubber's mother. Being a pony clubber's mother, you, you have the dubious pleasure of travelling the country, uh, pulling a horse box and preparing picnics and being the unpaid groom, being um, the person that's there that can be given out to when everything just goes pear-shaped and because it's horses that can happen an awful lot and you're also kind of the chief supporter, uh, the supporters club and then you have the equally dubious pleasure of driving home in the evening and everyone in the car is asleep including the ponies in the box behind and you're awake and having to stay awake and drive home but no matter how well you adhere to the manual things don't always go according to plan but like in this case no lasting harm done and she leaves the arena with a smile We move on to the 1 metre 10 star final and here we come across our winner 
This is Laura Reynolds. Laura, the only one who managed to jump a clear round. Laura from Longford. You can hear the torrential rain on the roof as Laura completes her fault free round. We had a quick word with Laura to see if she had any plans or ideas for the future. So after school, will horses be part of your after when you finish school? Hopefully anyway. I'm planning on it. So. What are you planning on doing? Um, well, I'd like to do veterinary nursing, but I'll see how that goes.